ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬಿವಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವುನೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ ಶೃಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಣ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೀಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚಿನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಲುಭವಾಧಿಪೋಥ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ಮದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸತಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸತಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಪರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶ ಜುಶ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ 
तदेव रम्मम रुचिम नभम नभम तदेव शशद मनुषो महसद तदेव सौकर्ण वोषन नीनाम जदुत्तम श्लोक जसो अनुगीयति तदेव रम्यम रुचिम नभम नभम तदेव शशत मनुषो महसव तदेव सौकर्ण वोषन नीनाम जदुत्तम श्लोक जसो अनुगीयति गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुवाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट कृष्ण सेवा है सम एक्सिलेंट सुपर नेचुरल पावर कृष्ण सेवा इन कृष्ण सेवा देर इज सम सुपर नेचुरल पावर इन फ्रंट ऑफ व्हिच वी कैन इग्नोर ऑल आवर any amount of morality honesty punctuality anything we can we can throw it away then gauri goshti bhati sisila bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshami dr bhopa paramahansa jagat guru said that in krishna seva such an excellent power unique supernatural power there in front of which all our morality all our honesty or everything punctuality all everything can become very cheap in front of krishna seva in front of krishna seva all those things become a very cheap thing so cheap that we cannot even imagine if i am going to jump into krishna seva ignoring some वैदिक रूल्स और सोशल रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन इफ आई एम गोइंग टू जम्प इन टू कृष्ण सेवा होल वैष्ण सोसाइटी कैन ब्लेम मी होल सोसाइटी कैन ब्लेम मी यू आर डूइंग ऑल रॉन्ग इट्स नॉट गुड ऑल आवर एथिकल कैरेक्टर ऑल मोरलिटी एवरीथिंग वी कैन थ्रो फॉर कृष्ण सेवा बट ऑल होल सोसाइटी कैन क्रिटिसाइज मी What you are doing? You are a man. Yes. Let them criticize. I can pay salute to them. Let them criticize. I can jump into Krishna Seva. Let them criticize. Let them bark like a dog, because they don't know who is Krishna. What is Krishna Seva? That's why they criticize. So what you can do? Let them criticize. That is why the great Acharya. of this world or in universe we can say sila bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshad he used to say i can come down to any level for the actual preaching of chaitanya vani i mean the actual teachings of krishna i can come down to any level i know people can criticize me let them criticize for the actual preaching of chaitanya vani i'm ca- i can come down to any level that is called actually radha dasya nobody can speak like that only those who are established in radha dasya only they can speak all other people whole world no one can speak those who are totally established in radha dasya they can speak like this so the radha dasya prabhupad is really unique all is speaking you know looking whatever he is doing all behind everything there is a mystery of radha dasya even some of his disciple they used to misunderstand many many of his disciple one or two example i can give then you can many of his disciple prabhupad doing this why is why is doing this they don't understand why prabhupad doing they have no idea why is uh, you call that time in british pure who came some lord or like that he came i forget his name then prabhupad wanted to bring some food from great eastern hotel 
People cannot understand. Why is this? What is this? People don't understand. She wanted to arrange special dish for him. Of course, not non-veg, non veg, but from there. First of all. After that, he started speaking Harikatha to him. People don't understand why he depends upon this. It's not good. For the actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani, Popad is ready to do anything. It's really impossible. People cannot understand, you know. You heard one word from Chaitanya Charitamitha. Patibrata Ramani, Patilagi, Koilo, Vishas Sevam. You heard this word? You never heard. Patibrata Siramani, Patilagi, Koilo, Vishas Sevam. In Chaitanya Charitamitha, Mahaprabhu is going to speak to Sanatan one example. That one chesty lady, very chesty lady. She is ready to do anything for husband. Because she know that I am serving husband with the idea that Narayan is there, with his idea. All our previous, you know, chesty ladies, like Gandhari, like Kunti, all. It was their mood. Because they used to serve husband with the mood, that I am serving Narayan with this mood. So, one day husband speaking, I am very much interested to get the association of that pros. Can you arrange? But the husband is full of leprosy. Full of leprosy. Wife saying, surely I can arrange. Don't worry. Then that chesty lady started serving that pros without any payment, started serving, whole day and night. Some day the pros become very happy. Then she is going to speak that my husband like to get your association to one day. Okay, you pray. This way Mahaprabhu speaking, that chesty lady, she was even ready to engage one pros to satisfy his husband. That was his mood. That just ready. That time what happens with husband in the soldier going? And that time there was Mandab Barisi. He was unnecessarily, without any cause, false case, he was he was put on a Trident. Trident means one kind of shul. But he is not going down because his power, bhajan power, but is penetrated a little bit. This condition is there. In that case, that lady going with the husband and the leg of the husband touch the head. And the Muni become very angry. He wanted to curse. That I curse that your husband can die within sunrise, before sunrise. I curse you. You are, you are careless. You don't watch that I am here. Mandobri said unnecessary. He was, now no, nothing done. Unnecessary. But anyway, so much story. After that, Patipata Raman is speaking, well, you are going to curse that my husband can die before sunrise. I say, sun can never rise. I curse. Sun cannot rise. Follow this way. So really, sun not going to rise. Chesty lady, how much power? You don't know. Chesty lady, they have how much power? You don't know. There is some criteria. There is some condition. We, everybody not chesty lady. Gandhari, chesty lady, she is having so power, you don't know. After marriage, she wanted to put one cloth here. My husband don't, cannot see, so I cannot also see. 
that lady before before starting kurukshetra yuddha follow he wanted to make the body of duryodhan stay you know still body still body he wanted to make he told my son you come you come night time this time without any cloth if you don't put any cloth let naked <laughs> so duryodhan accordingly going krishna having idea what to do in the meantime krishna going to meet him eh you are naked where you are going eh where you are going hey my mother you are now so you can go naked to your mother thinks mother can see out of affection he was useless you are no brain okay okay then after that wear some cloth here and then go mother going to make the body pure steel body iron body but this portion was covered up that portion was krishna reserved the right so that bima can beat here you see the calculation of bhagwan bhagwan omnipresent so love for devotee where krishna is then in in daroka and here draupadi crying in kamavan because durvasa can come about immediately krishna appears there i am very hungry give me you see the love i mean loveful relation between bhagwan and bhakta what this one so this way we know chesty lady the extreme power you cannot even imagine so mahaprabhu wanted to give this example for we gorias like chesty lady ready to do anything for husband our husband is krishna we are ready to do anything for krishna anything let people say this is the gorias siddhant many time sir popad used to give this example people cannot understand they will have to wait maybe crores of bhart to reach up to this point this feeling who is krishna now another point i like to ex explain that you know jadu bangsa you know in the name of jadu maharaj the total destiny getting name jadu bangsa but if you go through shastra who is jadu you know who is jadu who is jadu you know identity who is jadu jadu is the son of jajati jadu is the son of jajati jadu is the son of jajati jajati had some previous case history somehow because there is sarmishtha the daughter of bishoparva and the daughter of sukracharya devjani both of them having friendship i will not speak the background otherwise you cannot make any head or tail both of them friendship they are playing they are going traveling here some day they are going to some place garden all around there is very nice blue lagoon very nice hill and everything then they took decision to take bath in the lagoon very nice water like that ekdom krishna water they took him they put all their clothes no gents there all girls so they are taking bath after taking bath when getting up from the water by chance with a mistake sarmishtha sarmishtha eh huh, was very could not understand she wearing the cloth of devjani that was not deliberate mistake but by chance it was there almost same say where when devjani get up her water she discover my cloth was wearing why my cloth you are wearing ha eh? why you know my identity guru putri all asura destiny their guru is sukraja the my father my cloth you are wearing we are brahman you are like you know why you are wearing then become very angry 
Solmista also become. This is their friendship. When small self-interest is disturbed, that is their friend. This is our friendship. You know, husband or wife and children. All, I am laughing. This is their relationship. Then Sarmista Sol, also become very young. What? You are taking, you know, money, everything from us like a dog. Without our donation, you cannot eat. Eh? You are speaking this and fighting. After that, what happened? What happened? Sarmista going to throw Devjani in the blind well without clothes. Throw it. Then see, they all gone. Nobody there. Who can deliver her? She can die inside a blind well. The news spread. Finally, what happens? This Jajati somehow going to huntering, going there. She wanted to get some water, so searching some, looking in a well, blind, but the well is blind, discover that girl, pity girl, there in the town. The girl crying, you please save me, I am in a very painful situation. Then king finally going to throw in cloth and helping, after that hand, after that pull up. After that, Devyan is speaking, well, you catch my hand, that way Pani grown. In our Vedic culture, if one man is going to catch the hand of a lady, it's called Pani grown. Money, you will have to marry. But at present, everybody is doing hand suck, hand sack. Modern world, I'm not going to speak anything. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> so, modern world is I'm not thinking about. I'm not thinking about cats and dogs society. It's called Cats and Dogs Society. I'm not speaking anything. Anyway, so when she get up, what to say, will have to accept me as your wife. How I can accept you? You seek my help, so I am helping you. Anyway, what is your identity? Well, I'm Brahman, my father. So then I am Kshatriya. I cannot marry you. How you can marry? You are Brahmin. But no, actually, the son of Sukracharya, coach, curse me that I can never marry one Kshatriya, so a one Brahman. So finally they married. After that, there was some history actually, Sukracharya going to put condition that you are going to marry my daughter, but Sarmista, the daughter of Vishwaparva and all her you know, maid servants, all then can go and serve my daughter. This is the condition. This is all okay. You are guru, whatever you say. But one condition, Jajati, you cannot accept the Sarmista in your bed. Be careful. But Kshatriya is feeling attraction to Kshatriya. Finally, it happens so. Big problem. Then Sukracharya cards, you can become old. You can become old. You cannot enjoy your life. Then what? Finally, Jajati speaking, that it is your benefit or what is your, it is benefit, your daughter going to suffer. Then he told, if somebody going to exchange your young age with you, then you can enjoy. Okay, that, that is a fundamental thing. But now point is that Jodhu is the son of Jajati. So after these cards, Jajati wanted to request to the son, Elder son, this, that can you take my, uh, my old age and give your young age exchange? Well, no, I cannot do. Cannot do. But whereas Puru, the younger son, he was ready. Now in Bhagavatam, it is written, Jadascho dharma silascho nitaram munishattama. My question regarding this bhakti, you can understand what is the secrecy of bhakti. Here in Bhagavatam, it is written, Sukhdev Goswami is speaking, Jadascha dharma silascha nitaram munishattama. Mane Jodhu is described by Sukhdev Goswami, I mean Bhagavatam, top munishattama, positive, comparative, super. Good, best, uh, good, better, best. 
So, Jodhu is compared with Muni Shattva, one Muni, topmost Muni, and very pious, very, very, and doing all Jodhusya Dharma Silasya. Dharma Silasya means Dharma means Bhagavad Dharma. Otherwise, if it is not Bhagavad Dharma, then Dharma Silasya, this word you cannot use. If it is not Bhagavad Dharma, then you have no right to use Dharma Silasya. Sil means, Sil means like, Sila, Bhakti, Pramhati, Sila. Sila means Saundarjya. Beauty. is only applicable when, when your Bhagavad Dharma you are following. If my Guru Maharaj is not Bhagavad, not following Bhagavad Dharma, we cannot say. It is not possible. That's why it is, indication is there. The Jodhu was engaged in our Bhagavad Seva. Aviknasa mean nitaram. Nitaram mean aviknam. Nitaram mean without any interruption. Nitaram mean nitaram is Sanskrit word. Nitaram mean aviknam, without any interruption. Like for many times, Prabhupada used to say that I am going to accept such a guru who is twenty-four hours engaged in Bhagavad Bhajan. No interruption. In the life of a Mahabhagavad, you cannot find one gapping. They are continuously busy. That is a symptom of a Siddha Mahatma. My Bhajan Siddha or Sadhana Siddha, whatever it may be. But it's a symptom of Siddha. All the 24 hours, busy somehow, going through road, talking with somebody, whatever doing. But they are always busy in Hari Bhajan. Hari Bhajan means they are busy to satisfy Bhagavan all the time, all their activities. Yesterday I told, yes, previous day, if all your activities are not, not going to satisfy Guru I mean not, I, not under the guidance of Sadguru permission, then your Bhajan is not perfect Bhajan. Whatever I am doing, speaker, speaking Hari Katha, writing, if there is no approval of my Gurudev and Guru Bhargava, then my seva is useless. Maybe I have some power to write, power to orate a sip. That is not bhakti. If I am doing this seva by the order of Gurudev and Guru Bhargava, then surely it is called bhakti. Otherwise, not bhakti. No approval of Gurudev. You can do anything. Like one example I can give. One day, one Acharya from Urupi, Urupi, you know, Madhacharya pit. Urupi in Dakshin Bharat. Urupi is the pit of Madhacharya. They are branch of seven or eight Acharya. Branch of Acharya. Like some society, they are having so many Acharya. Actually, this is not the rules, but how they are doing, I don't know. The branch of Acharya. Out of them, one Acharya, is very knowing Shastra, everything is going to foreign country. America, here, there, and speaking Harikatha everywhere, collecting huge amount of money, huge amount of money, and come back in his Urupi pit. Then all other Acharyas, they, they are asking, Where are you gone? I gone to America, European country for preaching. Why? Why? Uh, for preaching, I go, I bring so many. Lot of money with him. Then the Acharya took decision, their committee, to throw him out of society. You gone there without a permission. We gone there. You gone there without a permission, without an approval. So whatever money you collect, whatever you you go away, we cannot accept you. They throw him out of. Throw him out of Acharya bench. Is disappointed this way. It may be 40 years back, 40, 30, 40, 40 years back, it happens. So, without the approval of Guru Bhargava and Bhagavan, if I am doing, then it is very. Like whatever Pope are doing, you can say it is not the approval of Gaurkishar Baba. You can say you have your right. When Gaurkishar Baba told him, you speak. 
You cannot find any written documents. But you don't know, while doing Shatakati, 100 crores Nam Jagya, then Gauranga Mahapur Panchatattva appeared in front of You forget this point. You forget. I wrote in Chhatra this uh, Bimala Pashat for students. I wrote one book 12, 14 years back. They are all I give. Unknown things. It is not translated. No, Bangli, Bengali. You forget that Panchatattva all appeared in front of Prabhupada. And speaking, you will have to preach. I can preach. I am penniless. You see, I am here in Changal. Don't worry. Even Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj saw everybody. They appear. And they give instruction. You will have to preach. Gauravani. How I can preach? I have no money power, no man power, nothing. You see in the condition of here, all around forest. Well, all money power, man power, everything we are sending. Don't worry. Try to follow. Like a high court judge, you will have to point out every, every point you will have to. They are speaking, we are going to send all, everything you can get. All. Don't worry. You go, go ahead. Or we are going to give you backing. Then it is confirmed that all our Guru Bhargava, those who are coming, those who are lying with Prabhupada, they are Gaur Parsha. But if some acharya is going to criticize them and speak all rubbish, they have fallen, then they are going against Gauranga Mahaprabhu. That is a legal point. You will have to part. It's very bad. It's not good. We have no right to speak this way. Whereas Gauranga Mahaprabhu is going to confirm that I am going to say, how you have your right to speak this way. You are offended. Big offense you are doing. So all Gaur Parshat coming. They are serving Prabhupada this way. So by the order of Gauranga, Prabhupada has done 64 mode of bhajan. We you know bhakti mode, 64. 64. Main is 9, but all other, if you go on counting, 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 64. 64 different limbs of bhaktis are there. So Prabhupada established 64 temples within very short period, very short period, all around the world. My And each and every mod, Papa told, is the courtyard of Vaikuntha Prangan. But now, you know it for sure, there is so many rules and regulations in Rasamrita Sindhu, in Hari Bhakti Bilas, you can go mad. If you have your no right to touch salagram, you cannot touch. It is written in Hari Bhakti Bilas. <laughs> if some man have no authority to touch salagram, if going to touch me with Tamagun, Rajagun, then salagram speaking, Bhagavan, as if he is going to cut me with knife. With knife, he is going to cut me in the body. Bhagavan speaking. So everybody cannot touch Salgram, everybody cannot touch Giriraj. But now everybody allowed. They are going to make a flat and a cheap rules that is written. Those who are Vishnu Dikshit, they are initiated by Vishnu Mantra, they are allowed. I, okay, very good. But the initiation is perfect or not? Hari Bhaktivila is going to speak this way. It's very right. Those who are initiated in Vishnu Mantra, but the mantra you are getting, for authentic source or not? Like in our Shastra, there is some condition. What is that condition? You cannot bow shit in a, in a des desert, sand. You cannot arrange your marriage of your daughter with a useless man who has no, no human seat. You have no right to give mantra to those useless people, those who are not qualified. But nobody is going to care. It is written. Our Guru Bhargava in Gauriya, all written. 
But who can? Even not right to take, I come, come, I can give you Diksha. This way, our devotional field become very cheap. There's a standard at the time of Prabhupada was so high. Same thing I told to, to some Acharya. You think I'm very heavy. But you don't know one thing. If I'm going to maintain some standard, then anyway they are not going to follow that perfect standard. Some, some we have to compromise. But now you are going to make a flat rules, then all can. Follow what is it? I told one, you are going to make it so flat rules that you can never get one equality in your whole life. That he told me in a letter. After 10 years, he wrote me one letter, Maharaj, oh, we only getting money, all our standard, everything. I have my letter. He said, all gone, everything, nothing left. All, everything gone, only money. So money can help you to get by. So, those men having no birja, what is the utility if you give marriage? You can never give birth to any baby. That's why mantra, it is the rules. We heard from Guru Bhargava also in Sastra. You can go through Nishingo, Paricharja, there so many books. Krishna Deva Acharya. 800 years back, that book was written. Guru Padmada told me, I arranged that book and printed, 12 years back. Nishinga Parichajya doesn't mean, you think Nishinga Parichajya means Nishinga Dev, how to start, not that. Nishinga Dev, Nishinga Rupipur, Bhagavan coming, Bhagavan is powerful. That's why compared with Shinga, Shinga Virya. Nishinga Parichajya means Bhagavat Parichajya, all rules and nebulas. 800, 900 years back, this book was written. And that book, I by the order of Guru Padma, I printed. Also, there is so many Gopal Taponi, so rare books. You cannot understand if you go through those books. So many things are there. People don't understand where he is getting this kind of document. They don't know. They only hear something useless, as, as per their parampara, useless things. Cheap philosophy. After that, they like to go for preaching. They are, this is their preaching style. But as Pope was speaking, before going to preaching, you can preach in front of yourself. You can stand in front of mirror and try to see your ugly face and preach in front of you. If you are over sanguine, the preaching in front of you done properly, then you go. Preaching is there, not complete in your how you can go for preaching? Preaching means you must be. Preaching means hear me. This is a standard set by Prabhupada. Preaching means you must be Siddhantavid. You must be following your Guru Parampara in total. Not even 0 0.001 millimeter deviation. Try to hear. I know people cannot accept, but this is a Siddhanta. This is a Siddhanta. Or totally following Guru Parampara, having Siddhanta Vijaya. He must be a Namacharya. You cannot understand. He must be a Namacharya. Without taking shelter unto a lotus feet of Harinam Prabhu, who permit him to go for preaching? Who? Who rascal giving permission? No right. He must be Namacharya. Man, he must have taken shelter unto a lotus feet of Harinam. I mean, one like Harinam, he must be doing. Those are the conditions. You remember, you write in diary. I know present devotional world cannot accept me. But he is more scientific. If you don't believe me, you stay with me. One by one I can prove. I can open your eyes. Your eyes blind, I can open, you see. You see, I can show you. Hello. So practical, scientific things I am speaking. This is the condition of preaching. But what to do? Anyway, so by the order of Prabhupada, uh, Gaurang Mahaprabhu, he started preaching. Gaurang Mahaprabhu giving permission means Gaurkisar Mahaprabhu must be, because Gaurang is there inside us. So we have no right to speak this way. So Mahaprabhu used to give this, and now I can. 
finish the Jodhu topics. Why it is written that Jodhuscha Dharma Silascha Nitaram uh, what? Jodhuscha Dharma Silascha Nitaram Munishattam Munishattam. Why? We have some question. Any activity is done by Jodhu? You show me. On the basis of which you are going to give this big title. Like the king of Tipura. He was giving Sri, 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 Sri. So many Sri. After that, Manikko Bahadur. You don't know, you have no idea. I can show you, I am not writing. Sri, 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 Sri. So many Sri. After that, Manikko Bahadur. And sometimes, we are speaking about great exalted devotee, Ananta Sri Yukta, with, mane, who is attached with Ananta Sri. Mane, his qualification, his quality, his devotional thing can never be compared. So about Rupa Goswami Bhad, we can use this. Ananta Sri Sampanna. Sampanna means Sanskrit Bengali word. He is attached with Ananta Sri. Really so? Because Ananta Sri coming from the lotus feet of Radharani. Scientific word. Ananta Sri coming from the lotus feet of Radharani. So, she is resting in Radharani's lotus feet. So, what wrong in it? We can say Ananta Sri Sampanna Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada. Nothing wrong. Because he is resting. As a nine money manjari resting on the root of speech of Prabhupada. All those scientific siddhanta. Don't be fooled. So now, if in Bhagavatam we find regarding Bhakti Yoga, what is the activity? What is the activity of Jodhu? So that Shukdev Goswami is going to add, yes. That is why he wanted to reject his father. Why know why? Because he wanted to exchange his young age. Because he is doing Bhagavad Bhakti already in Bhagavatam, Dharma Silascha. Otherwise, I can give you example from, from Padma Pura. Gokarnaji Maharaj speaking to Father. Gokarnaji is speaking to Father. There he is not using Sri, mind it. Here Sukhdev Goswami is using Sri, but there our Gokarnaji is not going to put Dharmam bhajasya satatam. You see the word. Dharmam bhajasya satatam tejoloka dharma. Here, here our Gokarnaji is not using Sri. Because his father surely not engaged in Bhagavad Dharma. He is engaged in Vaidik Dharma or some social dharma, some ritualistic, very general dharma which is very cheap. You should remember, all gopikas, they wanted to throw away Vedic Dharma also. Vedo Dharma, Loko Dharma, they also. Even they wanted to throw away Vedic Dharma, Loko Dharma, all everything. That's why Bhagavan Sri Krishna told, Sarva Dharmanam Parityajya Mamekam Saran. Sarva Dharman means so many dharma. In general, dharma is taking different kind of form in your life, in his life, her life. Dharma taking. Like those who are following Jesus Christ, they are also doing dharma. Those who are following Buddha, they are also following dharma. Those who are going to follow, you know, our, you know, Muslim dharma, they are also dharma. Yudhi dharma, or they are following different dharma. They are following dharma, na? Anyhow, they are following dharma. But they have no idea, they have no exact meaning of dharma. If you don't believe, you go to foreign country, any people you ask, what do you mean by dharma? You are following religion, na? Dharma. Actual translation of dharma is religion, but I don't accept it. Because it is not exact meaning. Like philosophy. Our is darshan. They feel philosophy. Philosophy means they think some concocted idea. 
But our darshan, Bharatiya darshan, Vedic darshan means what is actually? What is what? Don't follow. What is what? That is called our darshan. But they think darshan means some, I can make some decoration and make some superfluous thing. That's not there. That's why I'm not going to accept this word. They are speaking. Oh, let them speak. They have no idea about darshan and philosophy. Philosophy is totally different. Similarly, dharma, if you ask any people, if you meet in your life, what is the exact meaning of dharma in your life? You ask them what they can speak. They cannot give a perfect answer. But you know, you should also know, because you are hearing Harikatha, you will have to speak Harikatha exactly what you are hearing through Parampara. Not that you can make something else. So, Dharma means by holding the pillar. Pillar means, I mean, by holding which you can cross over the material ocean, that is called Dharma. Dharjate Tayate Iti Dharma. If I am going to hold on some idealism which can help me to cross over, the, try to understand. If I am going to hold on some idealism, absolute, in our opinion, absolute. Their opinion is not. If I am going to hold on, and that idealism ultimately going to help me to cross over the material ocean. But can you prove? I am speaking the meaning, exact meaning. But can you prove? That your dharma, your religion can help you to cross over the image. You prove it. You prove. You cannot prove. Because no document, na. Only if you are going to accept Bhagavad Dharma, that is hundred percent. It is confirmed in Bhagavatam. It is confirmed in Bhagavatam. That you can cross over the material. What do you speak about your material ocean? That is useless. You can go to Bhagavan. You can reach up to that point, which is impossible. That's why Gokarnoji surely not going to use this word Sri. Dharmam bhajasya satatam tajuluku dharma. And Bhagavan also not going to use Sri. Bhagavan going to speak all other dharma, you leave it. Bhagavan says, all whatever in the name of dharma, in the name of Dharma, countless different, different, countless different idealism going on. All those are very cheap. In the name of Dharma, all different. But, it's not Dharma. So, Bhagavan also not speaking, there is Bhagavad Dharma. Bhagavan only speaking, Sarva Dharman, Sarva Dharman Parityajya, Mamikam Sarva. That's when Bhagavan speaking, you leave all dharma, come, come to me, mean you follow Bhagavad Dharma, right or not? So, what wrong in it? If Jodhu Maharaj doing devotional practice, our Jodhu Maharaj doing actual devotional practice, actual devotion. So, why he can give his young age to father to do some cheap enjoyment? That's why he was not ready. That's why Jodhu Nitaram mean without any gapping. He was engaged in Bhagavad Dharma. Sri already there. He was engaged in Bhagavad Seva Bhakti. Jodhu was engaged in Bhagavad Seva continuously without any gapping. We can say Jodhu is our Guru. Why not? If in the destiny of Jodhu, Bhagavan is going to glorify Jodhu that I am taking birth in your destiny, why I cannot go, cannot speak his Guru? His Tattvavid. Jai Krishna Tattvavid Tasei Guru. So what wrong in it? Like mathematics. If A is equal to B, B is equal to C, C is equal to B, A must be equal to C. You should apply, you know, all Siddhanta vision. So Jodhu is Guru. Jodhi is Guru and Jodhu is saying Munishattamu. So we can say Mun, we can say Jodhu is there in family life, but still Jodhu is Munishattamu. Mane Muni, Munishattaro, Munishattamu. Positive, comparative. Among Muni, 
He is the first grade, not third grade, first grade. That's when we can say, Jodhu is Jagat Guru, we can say. That's why Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to take birth, birth in his family. Why Bhagavan? Why Bhagavan is going to take birth in? Jodhu destiny, yes, going to give honor to Jodhu so much. In cause, so it's right. So this way, you see, <coughs> yesterday, what I was discussing, that is very important, I say, that bhakta aham ekaya grahyam, grahya, bhakta, bhakta aham ekaya grahyaha sraddhayatma priyaha satam, bhakti punati mannistha sapakan opi sammavad. That I already told you yesterday, so I can touch only. So, Bhagavan is going to say, Bhakti is the highest mode. Surely, it is not general Bhakti. Because we already told 7 or 10, 12 days before, I can remember, that Vrittasur also doing Bhakti. Vrittasur doing Bhakti. Right, surely. Vrittasur doing Bhakti. But Vrittasur Bhakti is not vital Bhakti. It's not direct bhakti. So, there is two division. One is gauna, primary and secondary. Surely, Bhittasur is a devotee. No doubt. I am not going to fight on this ground. He is a devotee. But he is not absolute devotee. Absolute devotion is only found inside Vrindavan. Not even in Ayodhya. This kind of mood of bhajan. Also in Ajodhya you can say Hanuman Prabhupada they are doing. But this kind of bhakti, after ignoring Vedic rules, everything, social rules and regulation, all they kick out, all their criticism, they can so all they throw for Krishna. All they throw for Krishna. You can do anything for Krishna. We are ready to do anything to for 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 Krishna's satisfaction, even we are ready to go to hell forever. This is the mood. You remember when Krishna developing some headache? All devotees, oh, Krishna speaking, only those devotees can give you know, dust particle from the other. Nobody. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. Huh? Taking the water was a Brahman from Gaya. You see, Sakshat Bhagavan, Supreme Lord, He is going to wash the leg of Brahman and drink it. My God, this is called Bhagavan. This is the symptom of Bhagavan, who never thinks I am something. So, if Bhagavan is infinity world, if he is not going to think I am something, why I can think? I have no identity in this, in, in, with respect to the infinity world. Where is my identity? Where is my identity? You go to different Mangal Groho, Sukra, you can find this, uh, this earth is like a tiny dust particle. If you go, dust particle. And that dust particle, inside that there are so many mountains and hills and so many oceans, so many country and sub-country, everything. <laughs> Continent, and you think, I'm a big monkey. <laughs> I'm a big monkey. Not that. When you can feel I'm nothing, then you can start your Hari Bhajan. So long you are going to identify yourself. No question. So, Bhagavan is going to say, Bhakta aham ekaya grahiyaha sardhanatma piya satam. So, Bhagavan speaking, with full devotional mood, those who are going to do devotional, those who are going to show devotional activities, I am sitting inside them, they love me very much. Sraddhya Atma, Priya. I am those pure devotees, they love me very much. I am their heart. And they are also my heart. They are also my Aham Bhakta Paradhino, Hi Asatantra Ivodijo. Sadhu Brigosta Hidayo, Bhakti Bhakta Janait Priya. Bhagavan speaking. 
in front of who? Durvasa. 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 They are speaking. So this way, now Bhagavan is speaking that any caste, don't worry, anywhere you take birth, anywhere you take birth, any family tradition, don't bother about it. Only the thing will have to concentrate, you are doing bhakti or not. Somebody speaking, those who are taking a bath in outside country, they cannot get Who told? I say, who told? Where are you find? If they are staying outside, so what? If they are bhakti, they can purify. Whereas in, our, in here, those who are chandal, Bhagavan speaking, na? This is the evidence, na? Bhagavan speaking. Those who are taking flesh, I mean, of dog, they also can be. So what to speak? They are doing bhajan, doing kirtan. Why they cannot go to Bhagavan? Surely can go. But you have to confirm that you are not cheating. Only the thing. On your part, the only thing we like to say. On your part, Are Maharaj, what to speak about human being? Even dog going to Vaikuntha. We have document. Dog of Sivananda, staying with Sivananda, taking bread and everything. So, who is speaking this kind of Siddhanta? Who is speaking wrong Siddhanta? Dog going to Vaikuntha, written it. All the trees, all seven big, big trees, plum trees, seven plum trees, for thousands of years standing in South India. Mahaprabhu, one by one, going to embrace and one one plum bhiksha place back in, gone to by control. If you speak all rubbish, I am not ready to accept. You have to speak Siddhanta, no? They are doing devotion, coming from outside, giving everything. They cannot get Bhagavan. Why? Sadhananda Guru not going to Bhagavan. Why? Who take, who is speaking this kind of Siddhanta? Only we are interested to see their sincerity. If dog, dog was, you know, you know already, the dog, Sivananda coming back late and asking, you give a rice, a chapati to that dog, we forget. Forget. He is going to search, the dog is not there. Dog already gone to Gambira Mandir, hundreds of kilometers. How gone? Alone, gone to Gambira Mandir. When all devotees entering Gambira Mandir after traveling long distance, they discover that dog in front of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu, Hare Krishna speaking and giving coconut. And after that, that dog vanished. Dog was not visible. In my own life, in my very small life, I am nothing. But in my life I have seen one dog doing parikrama with us. You cannot believe. I am myself witness. Bhakti Vala Titta Goswami Maharaj, Tibi Kamar, what we are going. And I find one dog. He is doing parikram, whole. Shutting my Mayapur. All were with Dhanagar. But when outside dog, go, 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 they are coming inside our, inside our devotee. If the outside dog going to bark, then he come inside and take shelter. This way, the dog doing full parikram. One or two times I have seen. The dog doing whole Navadip parikram. I don't know who, who is that dog. I think he was a great devotee, previous life. After that, the dog is invisible. So you should have faith, you know. Let people speak all rubbish. So the Sivananda dog gone to Vaikuntha. Not that I am going to speak some false philosophy. Every time giving documents. Whenever I speak anything in support of that, I am speaking document. It is that it is a it is a way of my Guru Maharaj. Whenever Guru Maharaj writing anything, backing all the time this local. So I also have issue. So the seven plum trees. Thousands of years are standing. Oh, we planted usually not so, but that plant is very fat. In Chaitanya Chaitanya, you can go. Read it. South India trip, they have Mahaprabhu, one one plum tree, went to embrace, vanish. 
People say, hey, we are gone. Another plum trees. Seven plum trees consecutively. After seven plum. That blazes back in. People there thinking, oh, he is Ram, he is Ramchandra. People think in South India they have faith in Ramchandra. He is Ramchandra. Ramchandra, how possible? All seven plum trees gone. Baikuntha. So you cannot go to Baikuntha. Surely you can go. Why not? Have to do bhajan nicely, faith, believe. So it's all wrong Siddhanta. Those. So those are dog eaters. When Bhagavan is going to confirm, Bhakti hi punati mannistha shapakan opi sambhava. Mannistha. Nistha means bhakti high grade. I told you, Vrittasur Bhakti is also. I pray Dandavat unto his Lord. I am not going to insult. Vrittasur having Bhakti. I have no right to insult you. But Vrittasur Bhakti, surely I cannot compare with Gopikas. Can I compare? No. Vrittasur have Bhakti. But we shall, you know, primary Bhakti, primary division of Bhakti. There is primary division of Bhakti, secondary division of Bhakti. After the secondary, you will have to more channelize. I mean, specialist. Then, up to finally, you cannot compare Brajavasi with anybody. Regarding devotee and devotion, you have no right to compare anybody with Brajavasi. Because uncomparable. We cannot compare, na? if it is comparable, then why Jiva Goswami is not going to compare Jamuna with Ganga? Jiva Goswami is straight away speaking, Jamuna is a personal matter. We cannot compare Jamuna with anybody. Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Godavari, Saraswati. Eh? Eh? Those, every day, morning time, you have to chant this mantra in water, in a bucket, you can take bath. Ganga, Jamuna, Jiva Godavari, Narmade, Shindu, Kavari, Jalasmin, Sandhanin Kuru. Every day, with this. Hmm. This way, you'll have to touch and do mantra. After that, you will have to take bath. Then, you are taking bath in all, all holy river. It is the rules. Mantra can never go in vain. Mantra is not false. You can be, your position can be false. Mantra can never be. It depends where from you are getting this mantra. So, Vittasura also doing. But anyway, any kind of devotional practice or anything, we can never compare, we can never express that kind of audacity to compare our bhakti with Brajavas. No right. Brajavas is so just. Only in our sampradaya, Gauri sampradaya, under the guidance of Gaurang Mahapu, we learn. You know, you sing this song, never heard. You go very nice. Jodi Gaurna Hoito, Tobiki Hoito, Kemone Dori Tamade Radharo Mohima, Premora Soshima, Jagote Jana Toke, Jodi Gaurna Hoito, Tobiki Hoit, Kemone Dori Tam. If you hear this Kintan, you can go mad. How you are wasting your time? Why not you go? <laughs> wasting your time mobile. Such, who is criticizing whom? Who is going to make whom naked? A rascal. Why? Who told you? Don't go to internet. Eh? Wasting your time. Who criticized which man? Who told what? Let them go. We are less interested. Let them speak. They can get their result. Why we can waste our time? We can do it. Nice. All day do kita. So you can get power. So, <coughs> so this is very important Siddhanta. Bhagavan speaking about bhakti and confirm that even so low caste can become very pure. Like Savari, Vilnibhai, Savari, Enna, all, Gohok Chandal, 
Gohak Chandal in Raman, Bhagwan Ramchandra going to make friendship, embracing him. Chandal. Even you cannot touch him. But Ramchandra going to embrace him because of bhakti. So this way, <coughs> so Bhagwan is right. Only by devotional mood, perfect devotional mood. There is so many devotional contaminated. But we have no right to speak like that. Because whereas Rupa Goswami has already told, Anna Vilasita Sunyam, Gana Karmadi Anabritam, Anukulena Kishnanu Silan. Rupa Goswami already explained that we, we Gauriya devotee, we Gauriya devotee, under the guidance of Gauranga Mahapu, it is not good to speak that we are doing bhakti with some contamination. This, they, outside people, they can use. Outside people, they can use. We are following Gaurang Mahaprabhu, whereas we have no basic idea about what is pure bhakti. We have no right to speak, because our idealism is Gaurang Mahaprabhu. So Rupa Goswami began, Anna Vilasya, no desire, Anna Vilasya Sunyam. And again, Karmadi Anabrita mean dry knowledge, Conception should be discarded. <coughs> but bhakti knowledge, not. You are going to grow bhakti knowledge, not all devotional knowledge. That is not. But all dry knowledge, which is devoid of bhakti support, all those should be discarded. So, Rupa Goswami is speaking, Anna Vilasita Sunya, first point, Jnana Karmadi Anabritam. I mean, dry knowledge should not be there, but knowledge must be there. That's an onabritha. Onabilasa sunya. Onabilashita should be eradicated from your heart. Eradicated from your No, no spot should be totally eradicated. But about gyan karma, not speaking. Only uncovered. Uncovered by gyan karma. Gyan karma, the onabritha. Anabritam money, not covered up by covered up money. There should not be dry knowledge, I mean impersonal knowledge, dry knowledge, which cannot cover your bhakti kar, bhakti, you know, your devotional mood. Karma, karma is also we are doing karma. We are doing karma, no? You are cooking, serving to devotees, also karma. But it is not ordinary karma. That's why material karma having so that's why material karma having no link with devotional mood should be discarded. But this karma, I am going to market to buy sweet for Bhagavan. I cannot do. Yes, is also karma. But that is not prohibited. So again, karma the shunyam never told. Rupa Goswami never told again karma the shunyam not. Again karma the anabrita uncovered. Anukulena. This word, it will take long time to explain. Anukulena, if I go on explain, it will take long time. But one word I learned from Guru Bharga, Gurudev Guru Bharga, in one word I can say. That is one word. But otherwise, if I go on explaining Anukulena, what is Anukul? What do you mean by Anukul? Anukul mean not Patikul. Also, Anukul if you say, no pratikul, anukul is favorable, not and not that opposite, that is it. Then anukul, pratikul, do, then jasodama, going to leave gopal and going to take the pot out of the fire, that is pratikul. Why? Gopal become angry, that surely is pratikul. Well, no. So all this explains it will take long time. If I go on explaining the how Yasodama doing this way, people can pass remark is doing some wrong. No. It's anukul. But one word I learned from our Guru Bharga, Guru Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, all our Guru Bharga speaking, Prabhupada also speaking, one word. That is very scientific, otherwise you will have to play your head, all explains in long time. That is Guru Anukula Radharani. Radharani is just fitting. Mane Radharani doing Radharani doing just what Krishna want. 
Radharani is doing what exactly Krishna wants. So, this is one explanation. It's over. Anukula Radharani, under the guidance of Radharani. That's the, this one word. Otherwise, for Anukul Pratikul, so many divisions have to discuss for a long time. Anyway, so Bhagavan speaking this way. So, Dharmaha Shatta Dayo Peta Vidyabha Tapasanita Mad Bhakti Apetatmanam Na Samyak eh, Prapunati Hi. My such devotee with tapasya, gyan, everything there. But, you know, my so called legion people, I'm having dharma, satta, dayo. If some man is there who is having dharma, satta, tapasya, all. But still, except bhakti, nothing can purify me. So, so pure, cannot give. They can purify to some extent, but extreme purity, not possible. So tomorrow I can discuss the third point is very Kathang Bina Rom Harsam Dabata Drabata Chetosa Vina Bina Ananda Sru Kala Shuddheda Bhakta Bina Saya. So I can discuss this. So, so today I am going to stop here and after that question answer we can do some after that. So uh, uh, the sloka I started. Tadeva Ramam Ruchiram Navam Navam Tadeva Sashyat Manuso Mahasavam Tadeva Sokar Navasoshanam Ninam Jadus Tamaso Kujaso Onugi Hate Vanchakal Padurusiki Pas Pajitan and Pavanebo Vishnu. So analytical discussion, very analytical, because if you pass away one one word, it's very 